Okay, so the uh, dev team released a new application today uh, called Quick Pwn. Uh, basically what it is, uh, and a lot of people ask me for this, and I'm sure a lot of people ask the dev team, uh, will there ever be uh, something that will be like Z iPhone, like fast? Um, and the answer is now yes. Uh, it's not as fast as Z iPhone, but uh, once you figure it out, it's really basically easy. Uh, you just have to download two things. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do that now. Uh, this works with the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPhone 3G. But uh, to jailbreak, um, then no, they have not unlocked 3G iPhone yet still. But um, you must be on the 2.0.1 firmware. If you are not, go ahead and update to that. If you're unlocked, if you're on 2.0 unlocked, do not update uh, your iPhone yet because I don't think this is unlocked. This is just for jailbreaking. Uh, so 2.0.1 firmware, iPhone, iPod Touch 3G. If you're on 2.0.1, you can jailbreak with this. It's a lot faster than WinPwn. You don't have to go through restoring it and all that, but it still does pwn it. Okay, so um, I'm going to show you how to do that now. I'm, I'm not going to use my hyper cam as I usually do, but um, yeah. So I'm going to just film with my video camera. Let me get this situated really quick. Okay, and I have the quick phone thingy right here. Just let me get all this stuff fixed for you. Sorry, I should have did this before the video. What's wrong with me? Okay, so I have, uh, what you're going to have to do is download the links in the description. You're going to have to download the 2.0.1 firmware. Uh, if you already have that, you don't need to download it again. Not a custom firmware, a 2.0.1 firmware. And then you're going to need to download the Quick Poem. Um, I'll have links in the description to both of these for your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPhone 3G. Okay, um, and you will get a... The quick pawn folder will be a zip folder. Just extract that and make sure you save both these to desktop when you're downloading them. Downloading them. And then I've got the iPhone firmware right here. Okay, once you've got the quick pawn folder, not a zip, once you've extracted it, uh, go ahead and drag the 2.0.1 firmware into quick pawn. And that's simple. Alright, and then open up quick pawn. The quick pawn folder, sorry. Alright, and then you'll have all this stuff. Okay, now uh, minimize your. Um, you can minimize the quick pawn folder now. Uh, go ahead and plug up your iPhone via USB. Go ahead and plug that up. Uh, if iTunes pops up, you're going to close that. And now before you start the quick pawn process, you're going to have to um, you will have to end all iTunes processes. So go ahead and close iTunes. And then you're going to hit Control Alt Delete. Okay. And then you will click on the processes tab up here. And then you, if you see anything with Apple or uh, iTunes in the title of it over here, uh, you're going to end that. Okay, see, I see Apple Mobile Vice at the top. I'm going to end process and then hit yes. Okay, we're going to go through and see if there's anything else. Anything with iTunes, iTunes or Apple in the title. Okay, so that's all. And you should have iTunes help or Apple Mobile device and Apple Mobile service thing. I think that's what should be about all. Okay, now you can open up the Quick Pawn folder again. Uh, maximize that. Okay, so we'll have the we have all these folders in here, and you have already drugged the iPhone 2.0.1 firmware or your iPhone iPod Touch or iPhone 3G. Okay, and then you'll have these files right here. You'll have iPhone 2G.bat, iPhone 3G.bat, and iPod Touch.bat. Basically, you just select your device. Uh, the iPhone first generation is like the 2G, 3G is like 3G, and iPod Touch is like iPod Touch. So you'll have to click on the one you you want, the one you have. Once you've drugged the firmwares and did all this stuff, and then it will be doing some stuff. You can just stick, just be patient, and wait on that. It doesn't take very long. Um, and while it's doing that, I'm gonna talk just a second. Um, the dev team is going to be updating this um, software to be to use on more firmwares because currently only supports 2.8.1 um, and they should be adding as they said a funky UI or user interface so I'm sure this will develop into a program instead of a uh, just a command prompt okay so what it says after it's done doing all this stuff it should stop and it says press enter when you have turned off your iPhone or iPod um, it may ask you something else uh, it, it's went two different like two through two different paths for me, but you'll get to the same spot. It tells you basically what to do. It'll ask you if your iPhone is uh, currently turning on or something like that, or if, if it's connected via via USB. Just just type uh, Y or N for whichever one, whichever the, whatever the answer is. But you're gonna have to have your iPhone plugged up, 
and mine is on right now so I'm going to go ahead and turn it off as it says okay and it load up. okay slide to power off and it will be turned off Ugh. look at my screen it's all smudgy okay so it is off now alright once it's uh, turned off just hit the enter key as it says and it says are you ready to begin do not hit nothing yet you're not ready to begin I have to explain to you what you're about to get ready to do because they did not get you prepared for this even though they asked you if you're ready to begin okay um what we're gonna have to do it's turned off uh, you're plugged up to your computer via USB um you're going to have to it's gonna once you hit the Y key and then hit enter over here uh, it will count to five and then you will have to start doing this and you're not ready for it at all the first time I did it, I had to start over what you're gonna do once the five seconds is up it'll be counting what well, I just show you in just a second uh, you're gonna have to have your fingers ready to on the home button and power button, not pushing them in but once the five seconds is up you're gonna start pushing in the power button hold it for about five seconds and then you will put hold in both of them for about a few seconds and then you will release the power button to keep holding in the home so basically what we're gonna do power for a few seconds both for a few seconds and then just the home button for a few seconds until it tells you to stop okay so we are going to hit the Y key and then hit enter okay get ready and then hit enter and you'll see back here at 5, 4, get ready for the power button 2, 1 start holding it in now and get ready to push the home button 3, 2, 1 now you're holding in both buttons you're holding in the home and power and my fingers are getting tired okay it's 4, 3, 2, 1 now release the power and keep holding in the home button do not let go of the home button as it says in caps lock and 21 okay do not let go holding it keep holding in the home button Okay, so we done some stuff. Keep holding it in. Keep holding it in. And yes, that's gonna be your boot logo now. The pineapple. Sorry about that. Okay, my finger is getting tired. <laughs> da, 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 da. My finger is seriously getting tired now. Just be patient. Almost done here. Make sure you do not let it go. If you, if you do accidentally let it go or something messes up in this process, close the window out and reboot your computer, reboot your iPhone and then just try it again. Please wait while your iPhone is being jailbroken. Press any key, key to continue. Enter. Okay. Now you can release the power, the home button. Sorry. Ah, my finger is like tired now. Okay. And you're just going to let the process finish and you can close out the uh, folder back here now. Okay, let's see. Let's scroll over. And yes, now we have uh, Cydia. Um, actually, I thought Installer would be with this, but um, it's not, obviously. But we do have Cydia. Um, I guess I will make a video also on how to get Installer. The actual Installer. I may make a video on that. But uh, yeah, that's basically it. Now you've got uh, Cydia. And yeah, there's your jailbreak and uh, iPhone or iPod. And there's my, someone asking me to connect to the things because I just restored it. Okay, so um, that's how you jailbreak your iPhone or iPod uh, or iPhone 3G in 2.0.1. Um, I'm sure eventually they will be adding installer and adding a lot more stuff to it, but it should be the basic process for a little while until they update the program. But as they do future updates, I will be making more videos on this. Okay, um, Come back to me now. I want to talk. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, that's about it. Um, if you have any problems, leave me a comment. Uh, send me a message. Don't send me a message because I've got like 400 messages in my inbox. Yeah, literally. Me and my sister answer like 400 some, or we answer like almost 200 messages like a day and a half ago, and they're already back plus more. I don't know how I'm going to do all this. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe.